President Biden also said he wants to help American workers by, for example, making it easier for them to transfer trade licenses between states and giving workers more power against corporations. Capitalism without competition isn't capitalism. It's exploitation. President Joe Biden says big mergers and monopolies eliminate competition and force many workers into low-paying jobs with poor working conditions. And the president says unfair competition also hurts consumers. Research shows when you have a limited Internet operation, you pay up to five times more on average than families in places with more choices. Friday, President Biden signed an executive order directing more than a dozen federal agencies to implement 72 new initiatives promoting fair competition and include ideas like allowing medications to be imported from Canada, selling hearing aids over the counter, and limiting non-compete agreements that block employees from taking better jobs. Done for one reason to keep wages low. But Matt Shears from the Computer and Communications Industry Association argues overregulation could backfire and stop innovation. That's why we see higher quality, lower prices, uh, more innovation. It's because companies are trying to best their competitors. If regulators come along and say, stop doing that, the consumer is going to be the loser. President Biden's executive order focuses quite a bit on big tech companies by, for example, more closely scrutinizing mergers, including mergers that have already happened. Reporting in Washington, Alexandra Limon.